Hello everyone. In this video, we will see what is TriFlow logic in Flow Designer. This was introduced in Washington release of ServiceNow and it was much needed functionality because if any error occurred in your steps in your Flow Designer, it will directly go into the error handling if you had defined that or your flow would fail. So this is where TriFlow logic comes to rescue where you can define if an error occurs then what you should do. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Hardit Singh and if you are liking my content, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button. First of all, what is TriFlow logic? So it allows a flow to continue to run even when there is an error in trial logic. So if you have defined few steps in your trial logic and any one of them fails, you can define in the catch block or you would say these sequence of steps should run after this if there is an error and those steps are kind of a fallback method of your flow. Next, we can run sequence of actions. So just like I said now, we can run sequence of actions when your any of the action fails in the trial logic. It is similar to try catch in java.net or javascript. So if you would have learned any of these languages, even the basics, you would know the try and the catch block. If anything fails in the try block, any statement fails, the execution jumps to the catch block and it automatically handles that error in a graceful way. After this, it prevents unexpected flow failures enhances workflow reliability so your flow designer or the workflow would be more stable and you would know how to handle an unexpected error and finally allows for informative error messages and corrective actions so for example if any of your statement failed in the try block you can inform the end user that this particular flow has errored out you may want to contact the admin or you may want to resubmit the ticket so that they know what's going on and the end user doesn't keep waiting that what is happening with my flow he doesn't have any idea so this is how gracefully you handle an error in the demo we will be sending an email to the requested ports manager so we will be creating a catalog item for iphone 13 where we will send an email to this manager whosoever has requested for and if it fails, so for example, if the user doesn't have a valid manager, if it fails, we will send an email to the service desk group. In the next part, what I would show is the nested try. In the nested try, for example, if the service desk group doesn't have an email ID or it has an invalid email ID, again, that step will fail. And then finally, we will send an email to the service now admin directly that service desk even doesn't have a correct email ID or its email is invalid. So for this demo, we will choose a requested for or an end user who doesn't have a manager. And for this demo purpose, I have updated the email ID of service desk as an invalid email ID. I will quickly show you both of these. Now I'm in my service now instance and I will go to the user table. So sys underscore user dot list. And here I will search for admin. So that's the user I'm logged in with. And here you would see the manager field is empty. So it doesn't have a valid manager. So when we will be trying to send an email to admins manager, it should throw an error. And after this, we will go to the user group or the assignment group. So sys user underscore group dot list. So that's the name of the assignment group table. I will search for service desk. If you go into this record, you would see the group email ID is invalid. So it has to add the rates. So this step should also error out. Now let's go to the workflow studio and create a new flow to test our try flow logic. I will give the name as try demo and click on build flow. I'm creating a flow from the scratch. I will add a trigger here as service catalog and then in the actions I would add a try flow logic. So for that I will click on this plus sign. I will click on flow logic and if I scroll down at the bottom, you would see try here. So you have to upgrade your service now instance to Washington release and above. And only then you would be able to see this try option. And once this is added, you would see in step number two, if any error occurs in step one. So and if error occurs after step one, these sequence of steps should run. So I will write my logic here in the try to send an email to request it for manager. So I will click on action. I will search for send email action. I will select this and I will drill down into requested item. And after this, I will try to find the requested for and further. I will drill down this requested for and then search for manager 
and then search for his email ID and I will drag and drop managers email ID here and I can say an iPhone was requested in the subject I will click on done and you would see if any error occurs in this try block or you can say the try flow logic this should go in step number three or in this catch block so in our example the admin doesn't has any manager so this step would fail and it will go into this then block or the catch block and here I will add the nested try so I will put another try flow logic here so I want to show you the power of this try flow logic that it can be nested as well here I will try to find out the email ID of the service desk first and then send an email to that email ID for that I will click on action I will search for lookup record so we will be looking up record of the service desk in the assignment group table I will give the name here as is user underscore group I will select this and in the conditions I will give name is service desk so this is out of the box group service desk where we had intentionally given the email ID as incorrect I will click on done and now I will send an email to this group for this again I will send an email I, I will select this and from here I will expand this group record and choose group email drag and drop this here and in this part I can say manager is invalid I will click on done and in the nested try block you would see there is another catch block introduced or you can say sequence of steps included if there is an error in this particular nested try block then again you can run a sequence of steps and here we would send an email to the admin of this service now instance so I will directly say send email and give the email ID of the admin so that there is no further errors but again you can put this in a nested try block it's up to you and I can give the subject as service desk email ID is incorrect and I will click on done and finally after all of this has happened I can close the rhythm record so I will go here in the action and I will search for update record so that our rhythm record is properly closed I will drag and drop this rhythm record here and I will add the field state here and I will mark it as closed complete I will activate this flow I will click on activate one other thing which I would want to do here is to activate the flow reporting settings of this flow designer so that we can see the logs as well for that I will click on flow reporting settings I will click on full and update so this is how you activate your flow reporting settings I have created a separate video for this and I have an entire playlist of 20 plus videos in this flow designer so if you want to check out all of those videos the link to the playlist is on the top right corner and in the description as well now I will go to all and I will go to maintain items and I will search for iPhone 13 here Apple iPhone 13 so I will click on this and as soon as this catalog item is open we will go to the process engine I will remove this workflow which is out of the box and I will add my try demo here and I will save this record I will click on try it to create a new request I will give some random values here and after I have given all the values I will click on order now and as soon as I click on order now I will go into the request and then I will go into the requested item and here you would see the state is already closed because this flow has already ran and if I go to the flow context and click on this we would be able to see what actually ran behind the scenes and you would see the overall status of this flow is completed and error caught the step one you see error caught and it went into the sequence of steps of this try flow logic which was nested try again and then it tried to find out the email ID of the service desk and here you would see one or more email addresses were invalid and that's why there was an error in the assignment group email ID and then finally it sent an email to admin at gmail.com that service desk email ID is incorrect and at the end if you would see it has updated the record to close completed and this is how you use try flow logic in your service now flow designer I hope you learned something new in this video and if this video was helpful to you please be sure to subscribe to my channel and click on that like button
and do let me know in comments if you have any feedback i would love to hear all of them thanks for watching the video till the end